Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Advanced logic, you take out yourself a sequencer. And then when you got your sequencer, make it pretty big. <laughs> pretty big. No? Okay. And then you want to take out yourself a set. I don't know what I was doing right there, but. So right now you want to take out a set. I'm going to just use the kitchen from my film. Because I don't feel like making a set right now. So then I'm going to place anti-gravities because it'll fall apart. Place one there and I'll place one right on the skin bar. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to take out your sack bots. Do -do -do. I'm gonna put the sackbot as me because you know I'm a star. And then you wanna set the thing to idle and change the emotion to neutral. Then you wanna place another behavior and put it to act. And then I'm gonna make this guy Hobo Joe. I don't know why. I just make him Hobo Joe. So do the same thing I did with one, change it to idle, change it to motion neutral, then place another sackbot behavior. Two. Acting. Hobo Joe. Okay. Just do what I did last time, like I said. Copy it. Oh, you want to place a sequencer on it. Because this is how you record your voice, so pay attention here. Place the sequencer on the microchip. Well, not the microchip, the Sackbot's thingy, my bobber. And then you write your line. I'm just going to write, Hey, I ate your chicken. So, there we go. A, I ate your chicken, and now I'm going to record for it. Okay, so I recorded for it. You probably didn't hear it. Now I'm going to record for my guy, a.k.a. Josh, a.k.a. Sexy Beast, a.k.a. Big Wiener. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna write right here. You ate my chicken with a lot of exclamation marks. Cause my guy's mad. You ate my chicken. And oh yeah, I say die at the end. All right, here we go. You ate chicken. There we go. Recorded for me. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put a camera. A camera. Down. What you wanna get is a movie camera. You don't wanna have any other camera. You wanna grab the movie camera. And you think camera pretty long. Push square on it. Push X on the first thing that you're on. And then go up to your scene and set your camera view how you want it. Okay, now you want to get out a toggle. Advanced logic, take out your toggle right next to the counter. Grab the toggle and you set it at the very beginning of the sequencer. You take the cord out of the toggle and you want to plug it into both. My and Hobo Joe's behavior outputs for acting. Okay, after you're done with that. After you're done with that, you place down the magic mouth from Hobo Joe. 
and it says, A, you ate my chicken. So you grab another toggle and you sit right under the magic mouth. You grab the output from the toggle. And you go plug it into the input of the sequencer on Hobo Joe's. Yeah, on Hobo Joe's behavior. When you plug that in, that's going to give you his talking. So then now you want to grab my guys. My guys. Voice. Magic mouth. And now you want to do the same exact thing. Place a, t a sequencer right below it. I mean a sequencer, a toggle right below it. Plug it into my guy. And I'm gonna go add a camera view to mine. So this is how you make your camera views. People, a lot of people don't auto make their cameras move. So I'll teach you right now. You grab another camera. I'm gonna just copy this one, and you put it like underneath, a little bit underneath that camera, the first camera, and then you change it to either shh, oh, either hard pan or soft pan. I'm gonna use hard pan. They both get the job done. Hard pan makes it go slower, move, move slower, and then soft pan makes it move faster. So I'm gonna use hard pan. Okay. Oh yeah, just like my penis, soft and hard. <laughs> Alright. From there, you're gonna get my camera view, and now you want to record. For oh no no no, don't record yet. You want to go over to the sequencer, and you want to start it up. But first, want to get Hobo Joe sorted out. Want to put a mover on him. We want to put a frickin' frickin' frack rotator, and then an anti grabby. Sorry, I'm a little behind. Cause my computer's slow, and yeah, I'm probably gonna get one. So. Now you want to change it to how you want it. <laughs> I changed it to 420 because you know. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna put a toggle onto my guy's thing because right after I say die, I want to slap him and I want to make him go flying. So grab the toggle out, it, plug it in. I mean toggle input and plug it into the all of those things I just placed outputs. The anti-gravity, the rotator, and the mover. Okay. So now. I'm gonna go. Start the sequencer up. So you wanna go over here. You wanna go to the very beginning of the sequencer. And you want to push square on the very beginning. You take out your poppet and you push square, just like I do right here. But let me sequen sort my guy out too. That's all I'm gonna put on my guy is a danger tweaker. Change it to plasma. I'm gonna change it red because my guy's hair is red and my power to shoot stuff is usually reds. I know a lot of people are going to be like, but Josh, why not pink? Because I love pink as well, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. There's... You ate my chicken and stuff. And so, yeah, that's how you do it, basically. When I slap him though, he's gonna probably he died when I slapped him because Yeah, plasma hit him, so I'll have to do it again. Okay, now when you're done like this, what you wanna do now is add it again. Let me get sorted out right now. He keeps dying, so this may take a while. So I'm probably gonna just add music in right here. Hey, I 
screw it, it just it forever, so I'm probably just gonna place a plasma right, on Hobo Joe too, that way when I slap him it doesn't kill him, and I'll record for him again. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place a plasma, a danger tweaker, and set it to plasma so Hobo Joe doesn't die when I slap him. Now you want to add your music? You my chicken! Well, my music Die! Wait, so. Yeah, I just wanted to use that music, so... It's, it, it looks pretty good right now. Now we're probably going to show you how to... Ugh, I'm going to show you how to publish a level. So to publish your level, oh, we gotta give it a good name. I ate your chicken. You ate my chicken. So I'm probably gonna name it. Die. So I mean, it is kind of So I'm probably gonna name it. You ate my chin. Actually, no. I'm gonna name it. Tit sprinkles. Okay, so now, you want to change, ugh, pen on. you want to change it from versus, you want it versus to cutting, that way it's movie. And so, yeah, that's, that's how you do it. Oh yeah, check out my boy, you need to check out, <laughs> Oh yeah, so publish it, you just go push square on it, push publish, blah bada bing, and then you push X. I'm not gonna publish it. Yeah, I don't wanna publish it. Publishing is losers. I'm a loser, that's why. So no, I'm gonna publish it. Check out my boy Insane Swags Earth though, he's the one who freaking He's my editor, so he's editing this right now. And I'm probably way off on a bunch of things. It's because my computer's slow, and I'm sorry, guys. But at least you get to see the video and how to watch it. If you guys don't want to hear my sexy voice, then just turn down your volume. All the way down. Yeah, so check out Insane Swags Earth. And then also check out LBP2 Brainiacs. I sent 25 play his levels. Probably the alien level and his zombie level. Play insane swags, bunny napped level, and try not to die. And play. I don't care what you play on Little Big Planet Brainiacs levels because all of his levels are cool. So, yeah. This was Dimestress. See you guys later. And remember. <laughs>